Hi all, welcome to Ignite Career YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to build a dashboard in Grafana Community Edition. As we all know, Grafana dashboards are available only on Enterprise Edition. But we can do a workaround to export a dashboard in Community Edition itself. So let's see. A report exporting are done with the source and step mentioned in the Isaac Murray's GitHub account. So we are following those steps for achieving this. For this setup, we require some dependencies. Those are, we need to install Go compiler, PDF LaTeX or MicTeX, installed Grafana interface. I have installed all the dependencies with start and installation of grafana reporter module so let's start open a command prompt window and there are some steps to build the source from the hub github so we will run those command i have already installed this uh, grafana reporter i am just uh, showing how to run these commands if we run it, we will get some uh, results and it will get installed. And next command is go install. So this what these commands are doing is it is fetching the source from the uh, GitHub account of Isaac Murray and building the source in our local system. So if these two steps are completed without any fail, if we run Grafana, uh, Porter. we will be able to uh, run the source run the web server I mean so if we go over there and just uh, run localhost 8686 is the, the default running port so in here we can see the Grafana reporter has been installed without any fail. Uh, so it's installed successfully. We can see the API endpoints over here. Now just we will configure Grafana dashboard to run the same. So for this, I have already configured a dashboard, a temperature dashboard temperature monitoring dashboard and weather data monitoring dashboard uh, which is having some temperature humidity wind speed and irradiance value so we will uh, try to export this uh, dashboard as a report for our preferred time ranges okay so in order for that we need to create an api token in grafana for that uh, just search service account in here, uh, we can add token. You can see the option add token. Just uh, click add token. And uh, you can choose any name. I am choosing reporter. Okay. And, and not setting any expiry, expiration for the token. Generate token. We will get this token. Okay. This token need to be handled carefully. And... We will go here and we will replace the token, API token over here. And okay. Now uh, we can, if we look into this uh, API endpoint, we can see there is one area over here. This is where we need to place the dashboard UID. So we will just fetch the dashboard UID of that dashboard or the uh, weather temperature monitoring dashboard. Uh, go to dashboard settings in JSON model. If we go down to the end under dashboard session area where dashboard title and all that, we can see the dashboard UID. Just copy this UID and paste it over here okay so what next is like we need to create a report button okay 
for that uh, and we need to trigger the url using over there so for that i am just creating a dashboard link over here i am naming that as report type link and pasting the url over here let's say create report so i'm just giving a dash document including time range and uh, let's the link open a new tab okay save the dashboard close it okay now we can see a button over here when we over here create report and now we can see a report is current dashboard this data are being printed over here it created report i will just select a different time range for last 15 minutes i will check for last five minutes okay last three hour so we are having a different data in the trend and we will try to generate the report okay we can see that the report has been generated so that all guys hope you like this video and if you require similar kind of video please comment below and i will pin all the required dependencies in my description of the video thank you